quick overview of the conduit run. It's a little involved, a little more involved than I wanted it to be, but it's the way it worked out. Coming out of here is just going to be, I'm pre-wiring DC for the top of the cabin. I think I'm going to have to add more panels. So they're going to be fed down this conduit run. Um, so coming out of here will be that DC MC4 cable plus my four trimetric sensing wires. Um, could not fit the three six gauge AC wires in this as well. So that's going to come out here through a one inch and that'll come down and they're going to come into the one inch is going to, this will all be underground. We'll go through the reducer or enlarger, however you want to say it, into the two inch conduit as will the trimetric and the DC wire that I'm pre-wiring will come through. It's going to run down the DC underground through this two inch conduit all the way down the main highway and then it's going to come in back into a one inch come up the side and then there'll be a disconnect box which will be where the DC wire will connect to for now then I'll add to it as I bring the panels in and then off the, the uh, disconnect box I'm going to come in through here through a junction box and into the cabin that will be where my trimetric meter will be mounted and then those AC wires are going to continue they're going to actually transition into a one inch because I don't want that giant two inch stuff when I don't need it so the AC wire is going to keep going going this is it right here that AC wire it's thick it's six gauge and that's gonna come up here then we're gonna go under under there there's and one of my up. workers she's been helping me feed all of that conduit and all those wires right baby and you've been my helper but I did that we did hammer the staff and at and I and I helped him, and they always hit him. Uh, uh. <laughs> so here's our trench line. So we're two feet in. And it's taking us all the way down to the top, to the front. We're not done yet. We still gotta go over the front of the cabin. All right, here's where we're at right now in the conduit. This is not a fun part of the job, not an easy part of the job. I've never done this with trenches and this many lines, but I am in knee deep, literally, two feet in. So anyway, here's what we got going on. Uh, this is just here aesthetically. This is just my ground wire from the uh, panels through the all the boards inside the shed, the control board, and all the components, and uh, bonds up and then comes out. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm not going to run this in conduit, it's just bare copper. And this runs the ditch all the way to the ground stake you're going to see out there. And then out of this one, we've got our trimetric wires. Um, that's four wires plus I pre-wired the DC For the shed for later so I could add more panels and I can come into my charge controllers in here And that's what goes through this conduit goes through The one inch turns into a two inch because I got a ton of wires It goes all the way down And down and we'll show you what it where it goes in a minute um, and then we've got um, here, this is the AC wires. As you can tell, I didn't buy enough, so I'm going to have to leave it like this and pigtail it later. It's six uh, gauge THWN. So anyway, this will go in through a hole here into, you know, basically one of these pieces and then to the uh, outback converter. The other end of this is going to run down. And all the way, I'll walk the ditch all the way to the front of the cabin. So in this big two inch conduit, I'm running everything. I've got like four, six, 
like nine wires in this thing. And that AC wire is going to just keep going. It's going to change. There it is there. The six gauge THWN and it continues on through the one inch and then out. We have to pigtail that end and then that will be run into the uh, breaker panel up front. And then here's the, pre, the uh, DC wire that I pre-wired. For now I'm going to throw it up in a jun junction box on the side of the cabin. And also coming out of this is those five uh, wires for my trimetric battery monitor. So I'll put a junction box here, connect in, and then I'll run the trimetric in through the cabin so I can see and monitor on the other side. Okay, got the trench buried. And now we're starting to wire up here. Disconnect, prepped for adding panels later, as I think I'm going to need. This uh, has got inside our DC, so we're set to bring down the DC to add. This will feed in through the conduit, goes underground, and then through that middle conduit that enters the shed. This is our trimetric sensing wire. This will go, I'm going to work on this now, but it's going to enter the house into the meter inside. And these four wires go down the one inch conduit. They run in a two inch with everything else. And then they enter into that middle conduit too that enters the cabin, I mean the shed. And uh, that will go into the uh, shunt. And then uh, lastly, you got the AC wires. That's the only thing that's left. They too run in this same trench. You see them sticking out, those three wires. They'll enter the shed. They'll um, attach into my uh, Outback converter. And then that'll power the uh, cabin. So that conduit goes underground continues underground this is the longest run and then you can see where it's going to enter here and we will fit this up later but this will fit into here and then we'll be running underneath and then up you can see where the black they're black those here's completion of the um trimetric and the pre-wiring of this is the where the trimetric meter is going to be located in the cabin so it's pretty convenient to see because it's going to show us all the power coming in all the power we're using and what a percentage of battery is and we're just going to cut these lines terminate it to here and that's it right my little helper there's my little helper and I pulled those wires in and you pulled those wires in I'm six years old anyway <laughs>